What's up guys, it's Jason here with For the Love of Tractors and I've got a quick customizing tip for you guys. So no fancy intro today, none of that good stuff. We're not really talking tractors, we're talking customizing. So what am I doing here with a couple tires sitting in front of me? Wheels and tires, wheels and tires. So the Case IH tractor is made by Ertl. I think they have pretty good wheels and tires from the factory. So I use them a lot when I'm customizing other tractors, and I've even put them on John Deere and things like that. And what you need to do is you need to change your paint color on them and, you know, add some detail, and that really spruces them up. So I've got a couple examples here I want to show you real quick. Uh, the first being, this came off of those new CVT um case IH like 370 or whatever they are so that's a nice you know it's a nice looking rim and tire and I'm gonna you know you you'll fill in the hole with some sort of plug or whatever at some point but the color is not perfect and I'm gonna pull up my uh, 370 I did here and you can see it too see the back color how it's just a little gray case IH has a silvery aluminum chrome rim it's brighter and can you see how that's brighter than even the the stock wow look at this tumbleweed i guess there sorry about that guys um see see how that is you know this is shiny don't get me wrong and then the the, the one on the the um the mx is kind of iffy let me find another example too See how see how these are like a dull gray. This is how they come from Ertl for the most part. Now this new 370 or three, sorry, it's a 390, 80. I don't know. It's a something. <laughs> it's shinier, but most of them are going to be this dull plasticky gray color, and so that kind of sucks. Even this could be better. So what we want to do is we want to paint it to make it look like that. Now I know you're seeing this blemish here, and you're like, oh crap, what'd you do? You messed it up. That's what this video is about. So, quick tip so that you don't have to de-rim your tire. And reasons you might not want to do that is these tires are really easy to mar up. These plastic rims are really easy to mar up because you're going to have to heat them. And then you can use your hand and, you know, that's fine. But I'll be honest, I'm getting a little older and I have a little arthritis in my hands and they hurt sometimes. So, that doesn't work well for me a lot. So... What I like to do is paint them on with the wheel on the tire when I can. So, how am I going to do that? Very simple. Take your white glue, Elmer's school glue. Washable, no run, non-toxic, whatever. Apply that around your tire. Like so. And, you know, you'll, let me, I'm going to move my thing a little bit here. You, you can play with the, the amount. So then I'm just going to take my finger, I'm going to spread that out. All right. See? Voila. Go ahead and get it all the way around. And if you get some on this, the plastic rim, that's okay. One, you can take your finger and just wipe it off. Especially if I put my hand in front of the camera. And that's, that's pretty good right there, but once it dries, you know, so let, let's just set up 10, 15 minutes. Just, 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 let it, just let it sit there and dry. Once it dries, you can take your hobby knife, if you want to, and you can just cut around it, and you can peel off any part of the rim that you got it on. Then, all right, so let's say you've got your glue where you want it. It's good and set up. Paint your tire. Now, if you've really applied it really well all over, you could spray this. Now, I usually brush on my tires. One, it saves paint. There's no need of spraying and, and having paint everywhere when I'm just painting this little section. And then two, it's uh, it's a little easier, to be honest. It's just kind of, sometimes I just, like tonight, I was just sitting on my couch watching uh, whatever's on TV, I don't know. And, um, was painting up these rims so you know I can't obviously spray on my couch but I can sure the heck brush it on with like testers and I use for case IH I use testers silver chrome and so it's a little more shinier than the silver it's a little shinier than the aluminum so 
I just think it gives it. I, I think it gives it a good look for the Case IH tractors. Anyway, so I painted this rim. I let it set up for ten minutes. I painted the rim. So now, how do we get the glue off? Simple. Just take your finger. Voila. Peel it off. Yeah, a little stubborn spot right there. Boom. Look at that. That's perfect. It's just my rim popped over a little bit there. Look at that. No mess. No overspray. No overruns. You're done. Couldn't be easier. So, anyway, I wanted to share that tip with you guys. This stuff is... You know, you can get it for like a dollar a bottle, I think. I think I bought a three-pack for a couple bucks at wherever, Dollar General or Farm and Home or something. I don't remember where for sure. But um, they make a a model mask that you can spray on or brush on, and it's like nine bucks for two ounces. This is four ounces, and it cost me a dollar. It's a no-brainer. This stuff works just as well. You can use it on anything. You can use it on windows. In fact, I did on this tractor. Same thing. You just, just put it on your windows. You can brush it on if you want. You can use your finger if you want. Now, obviously, you're going to have some areas where you need to do some masking. You just take your knife. You cut. Make sure it's good and sharp. Be careful. Cut, you, you know, around. And then, you know, just peel off where you want to paint and leave on where you don't want to paint and then once you've painted just peel it off it's seriously it's the easiest thing in the world anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys because I've been I tore apart uh, oh half a dozen case IH tractors tonight to do some work on and I just thought this would be a good opportunity to do this video it's a little longer than I thought running on seven minutes but I hope you guys don't mind I think it's a pretty good tip Hopefully it'll save you guys a lot of time and headache, and uh, you can reuse more tires that way. So, anyway, hope you guys have a great night. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share below. Share this on your Facebook pages, your Instagrams, whatever. I would just really appreciate it if you get the word out there. Hope to do more tips like this. we got really cool assembly videos coming eventually. Uh, parts videos from myself, from CD models, from Circle C Farm Toys. I've got kits and parts and stuff out the wazoo coming my way. And I'm going to do videos on them just to kind of give you guys an idea of what products are out there. So please like and share below. Comment. Tell me what you think of this process. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you use something else? Do you have a tip you want to share with me? I'll try it out. I'll make a video of it. Anyway, hope you guys have a great night.